day two. And we're back out on the lake. This time we're down towards, uh, we're actually putting in where the launch is for the tournament. So I want to fish down here this morning, see if I can get on a topwater bite because where I was fishing yesterday is about a 30 minute run. Oh, there's fish right there. About a 30 minute run to get to. So if I can catch a few fish down here and then work my way up there, it'd probably work out better. Now, I don't know if up there is going to be my strategy or not. Um, yesterday, I didn't really talk a lot because I felt pretty terrible, but I covered like 20 something miles. I went all the way up one of the creek arms so far that I could see uh, where they were launching kayaks. So I had the old bass barge way on up the creek. When you're pre-fishing for a tournament like I have to, and many of you probably have to, uh, you work during the week, you don't get a chance to practice uh, before the tournament. So the weekend prior is really your last practice day. So preconceived notions will cause you to fail. Just get an, a general idea, make a game plan and adapt to your game plan. My general idea right now would be to go uh, fish some topwater spots in the morning, throw a big worm for a few, and then try to follow up all of that with flipping bushes to get a big bite. Because that just seems where I keep getting my big bites. We're gonna see if that changes today. It is pretty much the same conditions. Really, really humid, flat calm. I mean, we're talking glass. Flat calm and uh, 89, 90 degrees for a high. So we're gonna get after it, go catch a few on top and see what this area of the lake holds for us. Floating grass. This isn't good. Yep, he's still got catfish on it and everything. I'm, I don't know if this is with you guys or what, but I figured I'd start here. So I'm out on Beaver Lake and I came across this little boat. It's by itself, got a lot of water in it. And uh, it's just kind of out here floating around, got his lights on and it's really suspicious so I just wanted to bring it to somebody's attention didn't know if are maybe you, are you in the water yeah yeah okay I'm... I'll need you to call back in on 911 so you can get an exact location okay for you. Hey, 10 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 emergency. um it's I just called the not emergency number and they said to call you I don't really have an address I'm out here in the middle of uh, Beaver Lake and I found a boat with a lot of water in it with the lights still on I mean it's a little boat it's just really suspicious, and with as busy as it's been out here, it just has me a little concerned. Maybe some of those night fishing. What kind of, you said it is, uh, what kind of boat? It's just a little bitty pelican, like 10 foot pelican plastic boat. I mean, honestly, this thing could have been out here floating for a while and just broke loose from somebody's dock. Yes, sir. Well, unfortunately, being on the lake, there's no good landmarks or addresses or anything. That's why we ask you to call in so we can get, get the plot on your location. Cool. I just didn't want to take up your time. And so. Okay. So. Alright, now we've got this information in here. Thanks for letting us know. We'll get somebody out and check it out. Alright, thank you. Alrighty. Alright. Alright, thank Bye. you.
this dude's been on there for a while. So this is. All right, well, that's weird. Not very often you find a boat that's randomly sinking in the middle of the lake, but we called it in. Could have just broken loose from somebody's dock, but uh, the lights are still on and it has me worried that somebody was night fishing and is now missing. So, any hootles. We're gonna go see if we can catch some fish now. I found some weird stuff while fishing, but uh, Half sinking boat is pretty weird. <laughs> it hit like four times. First little fish of the day. A little squeaker. We're in the boat though, so that's good. It's from over there somewhere. That's yeah, it was sitting right out here this it's morning. Right out where? In like, the middle? Yeah, right slap in the middle. It's got a little broken rope in the front. I'm thinking maybe it broke loose. But see how like the cowling right here is smashed. But I, I mean, the catfish was on it. He had a pretty good sized hole in the bottom lip, so he was probably on it like a day or so. Still pretty healthy and lively. That line was draped over and tangled in all that rope. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, have a good day. Yeah, you do the same. Hey, you can save my number, man. If you need to call me when you're out here, just let me know. I'll do it, I all appreciate right. it. You got it. Well, outside bushes is still holding up from yesterday. Yep. Are you kidding me? Did I just flip up a walleye? That's something I've never done before. Well, a walleye in uh, like five feet of water and the water temp is like 80 degrees. That's a first. Let's see if he measures, cause why not take him home? Yeah, he's right there at it. And I didn't feel like cleaning him. 
I can't say I've ever done that before. Keeper spotted bass. It's not what we're looking for. dirty water catch fish. to be sitting out there and talking about fishing man for feeling like crap I feel uh, pretty decent about today's practice I, I don't know what I got and maybe it's just uh, I'm exhausted but I've been feeling a little sick a little under the weather the past three days and yesterday I fished from about seven o'clock till six o'clock covered I mean 25 miles something like that today i just worked from this area about halfway up to where i started yesterday um, fishing a lot of clay banks and transition banks just trying to figure out where those fish are staging right now um, got bit in the bushes again caught a walleye flipping bushes like what the heck is that um, got a, a few bites flipping bushes most of them i caught on a 10 inch worm and i caught i think one on a topwater if it weren't for me finding the boat and that whole fiasco of taking all morning, I think that uh, I could have gotten on a better topwater bite. But from the time I found that boat to when they came, got it, and it was all said and done, was like almost three hours. So spent a lot of time fishing around that little area, which is not typically a productive area. And um, it's ruled out for sure. But hopefully they get that whole boat thing figured out. But I'm gonna swing by the tackle shop. I gotta pick up some line and see if I can get a couple uh, more packs of weights. I'm looking a little skinny on the weights. Anyway, I think I think the plan for me next week is to start off on a couple bluff walls, throwing top water and some swim baits, and see if I can't get on a good first thing in the morning bite and uh, put a couple keepers in the boat then I'm going to go run transition banks with a 10 inch worm and finish out my limit in a perfect world. That's the way this happens. And then after that, I'm going to go flip bushes for big ones. Cause I think that's the only way that I can really focus on just catching some big ones. I don't think that's a way to catch five, but I do think that's the way to catch one or two great big largemouth. So this tournament is, a singles tournament so I will be fishing by myself running the GoPro fishing against I mean heck these things usually bring like 140 boats and it's the first one since the whole COVID lockdown so there could be there could be 200 boats in this thing I don't know there could be 50 boats in it I have no idea but I do know one thing I want to win I don't care if it's six boats in it and two boats in it my job is to win, and uh, we're gonna do what we can to figure them out. So I'm gonna go into the tackle shop. I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, it's a little different video than some in the past. I didn't really talk as much as I wanted to because I just felt terrible, and I apologize for that. So I'll be doing a couple more of these throughout the year, and they'll get a little bit better, so bear with me. If you have any questions on anything I'm doing, please uh, comment below. If you haven't already, 
subscribe to the channel like this video if you like what you're seeing and you guys stay safe catch bass and we'll catch you later